question 15. So let's just focus on this first of all. So what are we looking to do? We're just looking to write this like this. Okay, just using our addition. So uh, let's start with this bit here. Know your addition formula. So it's in the formula book, so there's no excuse really. So cos theta cos alpha and then minus there we go. Okay, and what are we looking for? So from here, we're just equating the coefficients. So this two here must be equal to those two bits. So we can write r cos alpha equals two, and then in the same way, r sine. So r sine must equal just one. Right, sine divided by cos, so tan alpha must equal a half. Remember we're working in radians, so this angle must be 0 0.464. To work out r, if we square this plus the square of this, so that gives you r squared cos alpha, oops, square that one, r squared tan alpha, we know that it's equal to 5. That's 2 squared plus 1 squared is equal to 5. Remember, cos squared plus sine squared is equal to 1. So in other words, r squared equals 5. So r equals root 5. So now let's just write down where we are. Okay, so we've, we've got that and we've got that there. So this lot is equal to, we've got root 5 cos theta plus 0.464, okay? Now, now let's go and have a look at the rest of the question, okay? So what have we actually got here? Well, we need to write it like this. To be honest, I haven't actually taken a lot of notice of like what, what it's actually asking us to do, all right? But let's just have a look at, at this here. We've got this situation, this water, meal, uh, water wheel here is being modeled by, by this. So let's just write those things down about where we are, all right? So there's, there's part A. So now we're looking at, at part B. Like I said, I've not really looked at the question yet. But let's just write down what that has actually given us, okay? So this is just from the question, all right? 0.5 uh, T. Um, and then minus... To sine 0.5t. Okay, that was just a question. Right, so why have they just asked us to do part A? All right, so I'm looking at this here and I'm looking at what we started with up here. And I'm looking at the similarity. So if I multiply this, look, it'd be the same as multiplying this by 2. And theta is just 0.5t, right? That's all it is. So if I multiply this by 2, and then instead of theta, I can write 0.5t. So it's just this 2 root 5, and then cos, and then I'm just going to put 0.5t in there. And now that's really the hardest bit of the question. Right, now let's go and actually look and see what the question's actually asking us to do. So the first bit of the question you'll find is the maximum height of P above the water level. Okay, so the maximum height is when this, this bit equals 1. Okay, because if you cos something, the highest it can be is equal to 1. So the max height will equal 3 plus this times 1. So 3 plus 2 root 5. Now part 2, it asks us, well, when does this occur? Right? You've got to think, well, that's going to have to come next, isn't it? Right. Well, this occurs when this part here equals 1. So let's just write that down. 
So what have we got? So we've got cos 0.5t plus 0.464. When does that equal 1? Well, if we, uh, if we inverse cos, that's going to give me 2 pi. So 0.5t plus 0.464 equals uh, 2 pi. Remember, we don't want the first, because um, you could take that as 0. That's not going to be helpful to us, right? Because then we're going to end up with a minus there. Right? It's, got to be, it's got to be the second time that's going to come up, so that's 2 pi. Okay, and if you just work that through, that gives you t equals 11.6, and then that's seconds. Right, okay. Now, now with the next bit of the question, okay, what's it actually asking us there? Right, let's just make a bit of room so we can see what the question is. Um, so in a single revolution of the wheel, P is above the water for a total of T seconds, according to the model. Find the value of T, given your answer to three significant figures. Well, when I was thinking about this, I was just thinking to myself, well, when does it go below the water? And then when does it come back up above the water? All right, so remember we're looking for when it's below. All right, so if I can work out this point here, when it first goes below, oops, sorry, just had a shot there. Well, if I can work out this point when it goes below and then work out when it comes back up, all right, but there's going to be an element of symmetry to this here. So you really need to work out the first point. So let's have a little think about what we're going to do, okay? So what we're interested in, so remember the formula up here, is like we're just saying, well, when is this going to be equal to zero? So if we take away three from both sides. So in other words, what we're interested in is 2 root 5 cos 0.5t plus 0.464 equals minus 3. I've just taken away 3 from both sides, all right? Okay, and just said that's when it's equal to zero. So I'm trying to work out this, I'm going to call it, T1, right? The, the first time that that actually happens. Okay, so now we're going to divide. So cos of 0.5 T1 plus 0.464 equals minus 3 over 2 root 5. It doesn't look very nice, but you know, we're going to use our calculator here, aren't we? Okay, so let's inverse cos this. So that gives me 0.5 plus 0.464. And that equals um, 2.306. And jumping a little step here, okay, I'm working out, taking this away, multiply by 2. So T1 equals 3, 6, 8, 4. Now I need to work out the second solution, like when it comes back up above the water. So I'm going to... Think about when that happens. Well, 0.464. Okay, so when I do my inverse cos, if you think about how cos works, so it's come down before pi, and then it's going to go above pi, isn't it? So that's going to equal 3977 seven there. Okay, so just think about your cos then, about how that. Years. Right, so now we're going to work out what T2 equals, so 7.026. And then our total time, where it's below, is going to be T2, take away T1, and that's 3.34 seconds. Now the last bit of the question, it said, as the water level changes, uh, what are we actually going to look at there? So as the water level changes, what could we change? What could we change in our model? Well, we would change the three. 